we're talking to Christians about their money. And we just got done with the savings conversation. And now we're going to be talking about lending. I did want to kind of tie them back because when I talked about saving, we talked about the experience of Egypt setting aside the grain. And the fact is that that was what led to Egypt becoming a mega power because when the bad times hit as the lender, they became so powerful because they acquired a lot of human resource and a lot of land at that time as people did whatever they had to do so, to survive. So if you are a lender, the Bible does make room for this, okay? But here again, in Exodus 22, verse 25, if you're a Christian, here's what God is saying. If you lend money to any of my people with you who is poor, you shall not be like a money lender to him and you shall not exact interest from him interesting so we just had the, the the comparison of egypt now egypt it was like a money lender because egypt was not god's people lending to god's people okay egypt in that story represents say uncle sam or the government or the powers that be the banks the secular environment so the secular environment lending to christians we're going to feel it, people. We're going to pay interest if you're borrowing from those sources. But if you're a Christian lending to a brethren, the Bible is very clear. So again, the Bible makes room for lending. The Bible makes room for lending. But if you're lending to your brother, you should not be like a money lender to him and exact interest. So if you have to go to your brother and borrow 10 bucks, you should be returning 10 bucks. And that is a big difference, guys. The Bible does make room for lending. And it makes a distinction between God's people and those who are not God's people. It makes a difference between the money lender and your brother. The Bible does make room for lending. And if you're the lender and you're not lending to your brother, you have the ability to exact uh, interest. And that's how a lot of lenders make their wealth. So that's another way to access um, money and increase if you're the lender. But if you're lending to your brother and you are a child of God and you're lending to another brethren, the Bible has a dynamic for that as well. The Bible does make room for debt. The Bible does make room for lending, but it also puts some parameters around it, guys. So all those people who will say there's no such thing, you need to go study this for yourself. I'm giving you Bible verses right here and we're just as Christians following what the Bible says. So we have one, um, two more topics to go. The next one coming up 